talk talk about the period uh, kind of transitioning from the small faces to the faces because that was also a little it, that rocky. was pretty amazing how that happened you know Ronnie Lane really was the catalyst uh, when Steve left he wanted to to get Pete Frampton in the band and Pete was a dear friend he still is a friend of mine but he didn't have the fire that we had and I just thought well if Pete's in the band it's going to be watered down I don't know I didn't like it. None of us wanted that to happen. So Steve quit. And so we were really upset because our bubble was burst, you know. And our four brothers were now three together and one who doesn't talk to us. So we thought about this for a while. We decided to stay together if we could. And in fact, Donovan came over to my flat and uh, my eight guineas a week flat. <laughs> we were shit broke because we had no money, nothing to to look back on, you know, no royalties. Anyway, he came over with the idea that we could be his backing group. I wasn't keen on that. I like Don, he's a <laughs> lovely guy, but you know, that would be a real waste of our talents. But anyway, so we decided, <laughs> we decided we'd stay together if we could, but if we couldn't, if we got an offer, and that was the only offer I heard of, so we stayed together. But Ronnie Wood called Ro Ronnie Lane up because we'd met Ronnie Wood through Steve. Uh, Steve was every guitarist's friend. He'd give him guitars. He was just—he was just a great guy like that. And so Ronnie Wood called Ronnie Lane and said, "Well, here Steve's left. What are you doing?" And Ronnie said, "Well, come over. We'll let's have a play." And then the, the next time they got together, they asked me to come over. So the three of us had a play. We worked on different songs and different song ideas. I had a couple of songs. Ronnie had a few. And then uh, Ian Stewart, who's the Stones piano player. Uh, offered us the, the Stones rehearsal place because we had no money. He said, look, just take it. Uh, you might as well use it because they never do. And <laughs> <laughs> So we went down there with Kenny and the four of us. Well, the, Ronnie Wood was such a garrulous guy and still is. He invited all these other guitarists and drummers. And pretty soon it was like a jam session. It was crap, you know. So we stopped inviting the others and it was just the four of us. And then Ronnie Wood invited Rod Stewart and he was too shy to sing with us. And he listened to our songs and it was okay. Ronnie Lane sang a bit, I sang a bit. Ronnie Wood sang a bit, it wasn't great. And Kenny then got him to say, why don't you come sit in? Well, Rod Stewart, Steve Marriott, Ronnie Wood and I had an equal love for Muddy Waters. And we all, each of us had the Muddy Waters Live at Newport, 1960 album. If you haven't heard it, it's why the faces got together, because we knew all those songs. So we instantly had a, a repertoire of Muddy Waters songs. We were a Muddy Waters cover band to start off with. Tiger in Your Tank, Got My Brand On You, Mojo Working, Hoochie Coochie Man. We just had that. So instantly Rod is confident singing with us. And we had a band, and that was the yeah. faces right yeah. there. Yeah.